Hey, what's going on my people? This is your boy, Dream Talk 100. And in this episode, I wanna talk about future, present, and past. Now, in this one, I wanna break down the future, future, present, and past. Um, you gotta think of it from this perspective that when you're dealing with karma, you either dealing with past karma or future karma. Karma come in two ways to you. And this is basically where the future and the past reside at. It resides, resides, I'm sorry, in past karma and future karma. And these things can put us in a state of anxiety and fear when we think about these two things, when we think about the future and the past. So we need to be real careful how we perceive in our perception of dealing with the future and the past. Now, let me just break this down. Um, when you're dealing with past karma, this is something that you deal with when you go through a cycle. Because when you look at time, time is not linear. It's a cycle, you go through cycles. And when you complete one cycle, you go into another cycle. I think I was talking to uh, about this in one of my videos about uh, time. So when you're dealing with past karma, when you're dealing with past karma, you're dealing with more of a cycle that something that you was dealing with your past and what the universe like to do is bring that cycle back to you so you therefore you learn so if you're going through life and you like why am i keep going through the same thing over and over again well pretty much that's probably your past karma uh, something that you must learn to be able to grow and be able to progress more so that's one part of the karma the second part of the karma karma we're talking about is future now this karma is the progress in your life um th the reason why we deal with this type of karma is for you can have dharma and dharma is when you get manifest good things in your life it turns to karma to dharma so with the future karma this is something that is progress too just as well as the past karma but this future karma is the key to get you where you need to go it's trying to direct you to go to a path so this one is is very um it's a good type of karma it's a, it's a karma that when you do get through it it might be things that you might have to go through again in the future so you know a lot of times you know we always say like why am i going through this you know i you know i you know especially when you when you have like bad relationships with people and out the clear blue and you like you know i was a good person in the past uh, i hear this a lot and they be like you know i was a good person in the past like what is going on why am i going through this well this, that situation we'll call your future karma is trying to prepare you for something that's going to happen to you for the future that you can be able to get over you know saying that it don't set you back so we need to understand that too a lot of things that we go through is for a reason everything happens for a reason everything happens for a reason everything happens for a reason i can't say that uh more enough so even though you think of your past or your past karmas and you like how why am i in this situation um you have to think like it's the reason why you're in this situation let's my fact for a good example um let's say you having bad relations with people but you on let's say a career path now in the past you might have been good to people and you was like why am i now going through this situation with people you know but it might set you up because you never know by you going through your career path you might get a promotion as being a manager so you got to know how to deal with people so the karma that's coming at you is future karma. So it's preparing you to learn how to deal with people that may be rebelling against you or people that's deceitful for you can go to a higher purpose. So that's what you will call a future karma. Now, when we talk about the past and the future, and the reason why I say I look at them in, in, in a bad way, it's not a bad way because if you think about it, if you take 
the past and the future and the present is really pretty much the same thing. It's just that by us living in this time, this this matrix that is time, it seems separated to us, but it's really not. Everything runs together accordingly. You know, everything is corresponded to each other. So we need to remember that it's very key. So dealing with these two, the reason why I put them in a bad boat is because when you want to come into um, bringing something into manifestation, you have to think more of the present moment. You have to think more of the present moment. And when you think of the present moment and you having good time in the present moment, you really won't have the energy to think about the future or the past. That's very key. That's very key. A lot of people that keep reflecting back to the past and the future is people that's not happy in the present moment. You gotta understand that. That's very key. And I'm gonna repeat it again. People that resonate with future and the past are people that are not happy in their moment. Very key. So it's all about having a good moment at the present time because the present time can actually change your future and your past. So, and I'm gonna say this too, when you resonate with more of your present and then in the moment, it helps you because it helps you to stop what we call aging. And um, this is not through the physical body, but we're talking about aging of the soul. Like your soul can age if you put yourself in linear, linear time thinking. And the only reason, like I said, you put yourself in linear time thinking is because you are thinking of past or thinking of the future. So you're taking your spirit out of tune and your mind out of tune to being in another present time. And you could do this um, actually spiritually. You know, you could take yourself out of the present moment and put yourself into another time. This will cause you to age real quick, especially uh, in your spirit. And in most people, it could be physical too. So, and and the reason why this is key because people like me that meditate and other and other people that do meditate also, we go through this all the time. When you meditate, it's all about being in the present moment. It's all about enjoying and showing appreciation of quieting the mind down and being in the present moment. That's what it's about. So when you do that, you calm the body down, you enjoy the present moment, and when you get out of meditation, it puts you in a happy state where you can continue your day or continue what you're trying to do or make you think clear because you're dealing with the present moment. And that's very key. So the present moment is very key. You know what I'm saying? So if you, if you, if you are thinking something in the past or in the future, just make sure that you take those lessons and you create an atmosphere where your present, your moment is good. Just, that's very key, you know. You don't want to have a bad um, moment and then try to use it to think about the past and the future. You want to create that moment. You want that moment to be just as precious, just as if you was thinking of your future. Because you got a lot of people that fantasize. This is another thing too, the future cause you to use your imagination. It's more like a fantasy type of thing. When you're dealing with the past, that goes more into the realm of your subconscious. So the future is more of your imagination. The past deals with your subconscious because the thing about with the subconscious is the things that we do that we're not aware of. So that the past jump into your subconscious future, jumps into your imagination, to your creativity side and your about being a moment is you're using what action you're using the masculine energy so the future will cause you to use more of a feminine energy when you go into your creative side to think of things that you can do that could be on your creative side of thinking that'll be your feminine energy well and it's cool to be into the femi uh, uh, feminine energy of thinking of the future because it opens and open up your mind, your creativity, so you can pull that back into the present moment and, and turn it into action. That's what you would call your masculinity time, you know, to put things out there. Your present deals with more of action, masculinity, getting things and bringing it into manifestation.
So I want to say that, man, and I want to tell y'all love and peace. This is your boy, Dream Talk 100. Um, this is the power, the power gift. Um, subscribe, like, comment. Um, love y'all, man. Peace.